Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today I have a very nice watch from Melbourne Watch Company out of Melbourne, Australia. And this watch actually is becoming a part of my collection. It's really, really, really nice. It has a Swiss automatic movement with a moon phase function, a real moon phase function, uh, which is really nice. Let me get you a little closer to see the actual moon phase. It's really, really nice. I think they really designed this watch with a lot of thought. And it kind of reminds me of a watch that's way more expensive than this actually cost at around 767 US dollars, which equals 985 Australian dollars. Um, but it's very clean. It's a white dial. Um, I have owned very few watches with white dials, but I think if you have a moon phase watch, a white dial is definitely needed in my opinion. It is just very clean. Everything's done right. There are no quality control issues on this watch. I've been wearing it for two or three weeks non-stop. It's a great watch. Um, let me show you the packaging. The packaging is actually very, very nice. It comes in a beautiful box and with your warranty, polish and cloth and all that good stuff. So as you can see, the box is very nice. Um, Melbourne always has some very good packaging. Now the Collins Automatic Pay is tribute to the Australian night sky, which displays a customized lunar moon phase calendar featuring the Southern Cross Star constellation. It has classic styling, paired with a 40 millimeter stainless steel case, as you can see here, with matching bracelet. It's basically, they designed it for a nice, comfortable, kind of everyday wear, and a very elegant uh, wear as well. Definitely very dressy, definitely very casual at the same time. The watch itself is housed in a 40 millimeter diameter case, which is just the perfect size for a dress slash formal slash casual watch, because today you can really wear anything with anything, right? In terms of case thickness, we're looking at 12 millimeters. You have a domed sapphire crystal, anti-reflective coating, very legible, very good coating on this one. We're looking at 20 millimeters between the lugs, and a lug to lug distance of 46 millimeters. Nice sized crown, just like a medium size, matches the case perfectly. Now in terms of case finishing, well we have a solid 316L stainless steel case. If I didn't mention, the crown is pull and push, 50 meters of water resistance. There is the M for Melbourne Watch Company, and very nicely done as well. The case itself is brushed on the sides, as you can see here the lugs come down, kind of like a semi pie pan case and we have a highly polished smooth bezel on top of that. These sides of the bracelet is uh, brushed as, are brushed as well. Other side, highly brushed. As you can see, I'm sorry, the other side is highly polished. The tops of the lugs, as you can see here, if I get you in a little closer, are brushed, but with a little chamfer over here, as you can see, kind of coming over from the side there. You can see this watch does have some wear on it because I have been wearing it and testing it out. So uh, yeah, just to let you know. Now it comes on a semi-jubilee style bracelet, not really a jubilee, but kind of looks like it. It's a nice bracelet, has solid end links, um, polished sides, very fluid as you can see here. It doesn't pull any hairs or anything like that. Um, the bracelet is signed, simple two button, opens up to a uh, custom milled clasp here. Very nice, very easy, very secure. You do get two micro adjustments. I just got this one to fit perfectly on my wrist. I have a 6.5 inch wrist, by the way. Anyway. Um, the dial itself, so let me get you in a little closer here. As you can see here, it is signed with Collins, the name of this watch, above the six o'clock marker. All the markers are applied with little circles above them, a double marker at the 12, a nice polished silver tone, as well as those Dauphin hands, and the nice long sweeping seconds hand, uh, which features an M on the counterbalance. The date window, um, subdued there over at the three o'clock position in white to match the white dial. And everything just looks really together. The Melbourne Watch Company logo is printed below the 12 o'clock position. And yeah, I think it just, everything kind of meshes together. I'm gonna move the hands a little so you can see the moon phase a little bit better. There you can get a nice glimpse of the custom moon phase used on this watch. And it really looks spectacular. It's very detailed. It's painted in very nice as you can see the moon slowly coming up on the left hand side. I'll show you how to adjust that in a little bit. Let's get back into a full frame here. All right, so basically the movement inside of this watch, this isn't a Swiss made watch, um, but it is using a Swiss automatic uh, moon phase caliber, which is the Solita SW280, uh, which most of you guys are familiar with Solita, the SW200. This has a moon phase module added onto that, so it's a bit more expensive and a bit more complicated as well. Obviously you have a complication on here, you have a date complication and a moon phase complication and a time complication. So you're getting three things in one, uh, which is a pretty good value, especially for a the price this watch is priced at. 
The SW280 has a 38 hour power reserve, beats at 4 hertz, we get hand winding hacking, a quick set date, and this one is running about plus 12 seconds fast today, which is well within range for a standard SW280. Um, I know some people are like, oh, my NH35 runs plus 3 seconds a day. Well, you know what? That's not the standard rate for those movements, and yeah, that's just how it is, I guess. Um, you know, I've had Salidas run plus 6, plus 7, plus 20, and it's all relative within their specifications if it's not cost or chronometer certified um, by the actual company, which costs a lot more money. Um, but it's running fine. It doesn't matter to me. Plus 12 seconds a day is fine by my standards. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's take a look at the case back because you can actually see a glimpse of the movement. And as you can see there, you do get a nice glimpse of the Salida SW. And yeah, they did put a custom M on the rotor, a nice bluish tone there. Looks pretty nice. Basic specifications. Case back is held down by real screws, screwed in. Very nice. And yeah, solid end links you can see back there. Pretty classy. Looks very nice. I'm going to flip the rotor around. You can see the other side of the movement. There's the balance wheel going off. Looks very, very classy. So how do you actually function this watch? Well, first position, you can give it some juice here. It's already running, so no, no need to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this to 9 o'clock. So when I show you the moon face, how to change it, I won't break the movement. So here we go. Okay, so we get self-winding. You can pull out one position for a quick set date if you go upwards. Very nice. Then you go the other way to actually adjust the moon phase. And you would have to follow the moon uh, calendar, which you can find online. And that's how you would set it according to where it's at. They'll tell you everything on the actual uh, website. There's actually a nice video by Warren and Wound, um, which tells you actually how to set it. I'm not gonna go over setting the moon phase. I already said it, but now it's obviously messed up. <laughs> um, but it's very simple. And you pull out to your final position, you do get hacking, and you can set the time there. And we'll set that to 10.10. Push that back in, and the second hand will start sweeping again. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist. I removed two links from each side. As you can see, very comfy on the wrist. Uh, I already know how it fits, I've been wearing it. Um, fits nice across my 6.5 inch wrist. Definitely has some presence with that white dial and the moon face sticking out there. It looks a lot more expensive than it actually costs. The bracelet itself is comfortable. It's not one that does pull hair. Um, very simple two-button deployment there, or two-button clasp. And I think it's good. It's small. It keeps it slim as it should for a dress watch. And I think they did it right. None of those big, chunky clasps. Um, but yeah, I like how it feels, I like how it fits, I like the weight of it, not too light, not too heavy. So, let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below. I did not find any quality control issues or anything like that. It's quite a stunning watch. I was really surprised by the quality on this one. And if you're going to go a little higher end, like spend a thousand or eight hundred dollars, definitely look into this company and try to get one of these, because once they sell out, you're not going to be, it's going to be hard to find one. Um, they do have another cool watch, actually, kind of like an AP style watch, which is extremely popular. Probably their best-selling watch now, I think. That one was really cool, the Burnley. I did review that one as well. But this one definitely hits that out of the park. Um, I think this is the true winner. If you're looking for a dress watch from probably the only Australian watch company, I think this is the way to go. And moon phase watches are not cheap, especially ones with, you know, real Swiss-made automatic moon phase movements. Not those fake ones you see from Orient and such. But yeah. I think this is the way to go, and like I said, it's a very nice watch for the money. I think they did a good job. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, as usual, and we'll chat a little bit more down there. I will drop a link to Melbourne Watch Company in the description below. Definitely smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.